Welcome to the 2023 Home Composed Song Contest. This is the first year that Ireland are hosting, which is a bit of a surprise because I'm sure in your eyes it's long overdue, considering our long history with Eurovision. Hello viewers from around Europe and beyond, and a very warm welcome to the 32nd edition of the Home Composed Song Contest. My name is Owen Jackson and I'm coming to you here from Waterford, Ireland. I've been asked to co-host this edition of the Song Contest with last year's winning composer, Gunnar Ingebrigtsen. So let's remind ourselves what happened in the 2022 edition of this contest. Previously on Home Composed Song Contest, a two-horse race. Five points. Hold me, Lord. Five points to Roy. A dramatic final jury. We have three more scores to go. And one point gap. It's down to this final vote. 12 points go to Pig in the what? Middle. And that means the gunner between Roy Borland is the winner of the Home Complex Song Contest. This time around, he's back. <laughs> and he's got some homies. But also, he's back. <laughs> and this time, it's personal. But who's to say Roy Volan and Constant X will have it all their own way? Aside from the Norwegian posse, we have two strong newcomers, one from a songwriting academy, the other the debut entry from one of Eurovision's greatest powerhouses, Ukraine. Both keen to make their mark. Returning champions who know precisely what it takes to win this thing alongside a slew of regular contributors hungry for their first taste of victory. But only one can take that victory. Within the next hour, we'll know who that is. For now, let's listen to the 2022 winning song alongside a message from its composer and my co-host, Gunnar Ingebrigtsen. Dark clouds are coming Howdy, people. My name is Gunnar Ingebrigtsen and I live in Norway, in uh, Lillehammer and I was the winner of last year's song contest. This year's participants, you have a specific reason to be very proud because you have chosen to put your song out there to be judged and listened to by the whole world and that itself is a huge victory. I wish you all the best tonight. I hope that you have a fantastic time uh, with your friends, your followers. It's a party, it's the tribute to your ability as a composer and regardless of who wins. As I said, in my eyes, you are a winner. May the best song win. Okay. Thanks very much for that, Gunnar. Now let's find out a little bit more about um, your host cities. Lillehammer first, then Woodford. Today I'm driving through uh, snowy Lillehammer. It's um, it's been quite a um, winterish days, to put it that way. I would like to introduce to you tonight's hosts, Owen and Cloda from Ireland. So Owen and Cloda, take it away. Bye bye. Thank you, Gunnar. And yes, that's right, Clodagh will be joining us later as a co-host to help guide us through the voting sequence. The first of our host cities for tonight's show is Lillehammer. Lillehammer is a town in Norway, near the northern end of Norway's biggest lake. Its biggest claim to fame is that it plays host to the 1994 Winter Olympics and also to the 2016 Winter Youth Olympics. There's a huge amount of infrastructure there that remains to this day, thanks to those events. There's been a settlement here since the Iron Age. There's plenty of snow, 
You can go skiing. You can go slaying. You can go tobogganing. You could throw a snowball. You could build a snowman. You could take a long scenic walk in the snowy landscape. Lilyhammer is one of the few places on Earth where animated creatures and um, humans live together in perfect harmony. Although they can be cheeky little scamps at times. Some well-known people born in Lilyhammer include, and excuse the pronunciation here, but soccer player Morten Sundley, racer Andre Villa, actor Atle Antonsen, and musicians Kjetil Kjelly and Arnstein Hammerhog. If you want to draw some parallels, it's kind of in the southeast of Norway, just like Waterford is in Ireland, and its coat of arms contain white and blue, just like the flag of Waterford. Speaking of Waterford, Waterford is the oldest city in Ireland. It was set up in the 9th century by Vikings, probably hailing from Lillehammer, let's be honest about it. Some of the remains of the city walls are still in evidence today, notably Reginald's Tower. It's situated at the, just after the confluence of the Three Sisters, the Nor, the Barrow and the Shore, on the River Shore. It's best known for Waterford Crystal, the Waterford Greenway, the Spree Festival, traditionally famed for its indigenous foodstuff, the Blah. 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 <laughs> what do I say? Blah. That's it, perfect. Blah. A lunch of blah. Frosty blah. Soft, flowery blah. Everybody likes that blah. <laughs> it's known as the sunny southeast and contains many beautiful beaches. These girls never get tired. It also has the Cummer Mountains and Coomshnaun Lake. Some celebrities that you may have heard of who originally come from Waterford will include the illusionist Keith Barry, footballer John O'Shea, actress Fiona Glascott, musician Gilbert O'Sullivan, and of course our very own Eurovision star Chris Doran. Waterford is best known for the positivity. Welcome to Waterford City, it's a fucking shithole. Intellectualism. Well, ma'am, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Refinement. We're having a ball, and you better put us on television. We want to be famous. And overall sophistication. I'm sexy, and you know it. Of its citizens. The 2023 edition of the contest sees 27 competing songs from 13 different nations around Europe and beyond. Uh, so let's remind ourselves of what those competing entries are. We have a special appearance from songwriter Niall Mooney, who's going to give his thoughts on each entry. Listen to all the songs and I thought I'd give you some um, of my opinions. Definitely some potential out there. Well done, guys. There's still a raging torrent sweeping all the way I deserve Driving Bay, Love the Sisters and Mercy Vocal. Great job. You're wrong. It's gas slowly dying. Drop black a decay in sport. Then said he gets a stone. Himself as a stone, he has a dual show. Prince flew adverts above. And the Prime Minister, who is not a whole show. Never beat them, died. Never beat them. Never Something very ethnic died. going on there, um, you know what, fair play to you Never and strong them. messaging. Never beat them,
good solid 80 synth pop in my ear. Ah, loved it, loved it a lot. Was ist deine Heimat? Auf welcher Seite wirst du stehen? Was ist deine Sprache? Wohin wirst du gehen? Malienki Druk, Atkuda Tri, Ikuda Budishti, Tiribyonok Gagoistrande. I know John Lydon and uh, you're in his lane. I think the two of you get together and finish that song. Not bad. Haunting vocals. This one got me great potential for writing ethnic ballads there. Well done, well done. Really like that. Call me. Nie hab ich dir gedankt für dein ehrliches Lächeln und für ein Leben so unbeschwert. Very pro, very chill. Good songwriting, can't complain, very good. Come 1970s throwback kind of stuff that I grew up listening to like um Oreo Speedwagon I really liked it really liked it hook really thought one of the strongest hooks of the night i've listened to it a few times and probably listen to it again after the show well done Very church, Gregorian chant. Excellent. Well done. Your body rocks to the beats. Your body wants to dance. Nobody is going to tell you when to stop. Your body, your body, your body rocks to the beats. Your body, OMG. One of the most professional. For sure, great hooks. Love that. Masters of the universe, what a bop. Definitely, you are the masters of the universe. Well done. This got me spinning round, right round, baby. Do you get the reference? Well done, nice job. Everybody else Christina got me high with some of the best vocals of the day. 
Well done, strong vocalist. This is your time. You were only meant to be a bear slapper ticker. Who knew that very soon we'd make it official? And though there were those who said we couldn't go faster, it's why you and I live happy ever after. It's a nice contrast on the other songs, uh, nice R&B feel, uh, good guitar, stands out, solid. Happy ever after. Things that you do, things you're putting me through, so hard for you to defend. I, I imagine uh, a, a band that I loved when I was a kid called the Nolan Sisters, they would have gone straight to number one with this. So I think you're on to something. And I am bewitched by your smile. Trying to find my way home. I guess with you it's already done. Now I'm driving on my own. This will man to grow. This could be a country hit right now. Just adding a little more to the chorus, and I think really it's so professional, so well done. Guitars are amazing. This meant to grow. Come on now, he's strong now. It's a big old Watch out for the LSD boys. But seriously, it is cool. It's like sort of 60s kind of Rolling Stones. Uh, yes, very hippy trippy. Watch out for the butterflies. Coffee and creatures with nobody's toys. If the life doesn't move or shake you, is it alive? If I stay. I love the vocals on this and I love the lyrics. Really nice vocals, very, very cool. Warm in the darkness, I find a rainbow shed its tail. Hope and peace, let us pray. Our Savior leads the way. The angels sing for you and me tonight. Get that released before Christmas. Hit. Yeah, I think it's stunning, stunning Christmas song, and we don't have enough of them anymore, so well done. Oh, holy night, let's sing since sorrow died. And we cry, and we fight, and we fight, and we don't know why. Yeah, I can feel a storm is coming, won't you ride this storm with me? It's sincere, and I really hope you guys work it out, whatever is going on there. But um, hopefully you did. Maybe somebody bought flowers. Nice. Gotta transform, gotta beat this storm. Snow clone. I kept saying snow clone, but you know what? I love this. Feels great. Backing vocals are great. Very hooky. Cookie, cookie, that's the key. Yes, I did. Three times. And uh, vocals are gorgeous. Well done. Now it's a broken record. Of broken Heart is infectious. Uh, I love the Spanish guitar. I'm gonna listen to that one again. Really nice. Again, 
again, takes me back to the early 80s. Um, on all of my child of the 80s, slash early 70s. Great song. Good job. I Has a bit of a kind of a nickel back feel in the guitar and parts. Solid, solid. It's good, good hope, good strong. We can touch the sky, but we're just way too high. And that's what I want to hear when I'm on holidays this summer. I didn't get a summer holidays this year, and yeah, I, just, I would love to just sit back to that now. Vocals are very sexy. I got a feeling like I want to take this ride tonight. Your love is what I want, and love is what we do. I feel it deep inside, inside of me and you. It's also kind of what Kylie Minogue used to do, so maybe you, your people should talk to her people. I know you feel it too. Ooh, mm. That's it. That's my review of all the songs. I hope the best song person wins, and uh, but you're all winners. Well done. Happy Halloween. <laughs> well, that's pretty terrifying. Thanks for that, Niall. Incidentally, Niall is part of the writing team behind this year's Irish Junior Eurovision entry. So keep an eye out for that next weekend and all the best of luck to Jessica. We've been very lucky this year in that a lot of Eurovision celebrities have shown an interest in this year's Home Composed Song Contest. There was Niall Mooney, of course, and Eurovision winner and legend Neve Cavanagh opened our show and she'll be presenting her very own set of votes later on, as will a Norwegian Eurovision celebrity to be revealed later. Let's hear a few words now from some other stars of Eurovision from Ireland and Norway. My name is Karolina Krieger. I was the Norwegian entry back in 1988, over 30 years ago. Don't know think about it. But I hear that you are having a competition, home composed song contest, and this is what Eurovision is all about. It's about music and companionship and having fun. And I wish you all the very best and may the best entry win. So many thinking men I have no answer. My name is Kjell Gilbransen and I was the winner in Norway, Melodi Grand Prix, in 1987 with my song Mit Liv. It was amazing to be there and to sing just a moment. And then I'm going to sing again now, the 14th of January, with my new song, uh, Tori i Paradis. But most of all, I wish you good luck and have fun. Bye bye! Hello, I'm Charlie McGettigan. Uh, you might remember way back in 1994 when Paul Harrington and myself uh, won the Eurovision Song Contest with a, a great song um, called Rock and Roll Kids, written by Brendan Graham. But I have to tell you that every year since, I've submitted songs and no luck so far, so I'll be putting in one again this year, so you never know, you might hear from me again. But it's good to know that uh, Owen Jackson uh, is taking on the hosting of this year's uh, Home Composed Song Contest, and uh, I think it's a great idea because for every song that it represents every country, there could be four or five hundred songs from each of those countries that doesn't qualify. It doesn't mean that they're not good songs, it's just on the particular day the judges were listening, it wasn't their thing. But I think, um, I think I've had a few songs that have been rejected that are quite good songs uh, and I, I enjoy singing them still in my live gigs. So look at, keep interested and keep uh, involved in songwriting, particularly for the Eurovision Song Contest because it's a great opportunity for somebody to have their song heard by two or three hundred million people all at the same time. Anyway, for me, Charlie McGettigan, I wish you well with this year's event and thanks a million for listening. Bye. Undoubtedly, you're curious to know what kind of a song 
tends to win this contest. Well, there have been 31 winners, but we don't have much time. In fact, we have five minutes and no more than five minutes to get through all 31 of these winners. So let's whiz through them immediately. With help from archive keeper and uh, genius, Martin Faulkner. Over to you, Martin. Hi everybody, my name is Martin Faulkner. I'm the official archive keeper for the Home Composed Song Contest. Um, you're about to enjoy a rapid tour through the history of the contest uh, in the form of its winners. Um, and I have been given the dubious honour of uh, providing a very quick little fact about each year as we go through. So uh, wish me luck, let's see how we get on. Morton created Home Composed and he won the first edition. Songs with vocals were allowed for the first time this year. Israel was represented by songs in French and Italian, but Sweden won again. The other Cypriot entry was sung by a very young Michalis Hagianis. The contest returned after a year off, and Tony took his first of several victories. Malta was represented by Chiara a year before Eurovision, but she didn't win. Scandinavia's dominance continued with another win for Malta. Very nearly a first win for the United Kingdom, but Tony took the crown again. Two in a row for Tony in the year that I created the first online archive for the contest. Germany took first place, and second place, and third place. At the time, the biggest home composed by far, there were 36 entries this year. Set me free and make me fly. The songs were distributed on CD for the first time this year. Before that, it was cassettes. Oh, we'll go anywhere we like. Never. The fourth win for Morton, but only one point ahead of Sweden. Apopse won the contest without receiving 12 points from any jury. A new record number of songs, 37, and this time a debut country, Poland won. This was the first time the contest was held entirely online. No more CDs. Radio International featured the songs for the first time in this year. Ilva and Linda have gone on to take part in many Eurovision national finals in many different countries. The UK had been in every contest since the start in 1991, but this was its first win. Now you're running Still the record for the most entries, 38. So many that we even had a semi-final. Back to a normal sized edition, if you like, and Finland won for the first time. The first of, spoilers, two wins for the Greek brothers. Basic change to the rules, now every participant can only submit one entry every year. And the ice is breaking so confused. Three points between the top four, a close result in an eventful year. To mark the 25th anniversary, we have a special instrumental of the year contest this year. There were 14 entries this year, and nine of them got at least one douze point. Nervous glances and shy good night. 
just a few years after Eurovision itself, Australia joined our contest for the first time. Already the third home composed win for composer Bu Söderholm. In the peak year of the pandemic, we had not one but two entries with COVID themes. I think I'm right in saying that Australia gave us the longest song title in home composed history this year. Gunnar became our reigning champion, and Roy returned after 25 years. Please keep me safe and sound. And breathe. I think I made it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our trip through the archives. Um, now all that remains for me to do uh, is to hand over to Owen and Cloda, um, because we have the small task of crowning a winner for 2023 to join that illustrious list of home composed champions. Good luck to everybody. Owen, Cloda, over to you. Thanks very much for that, Martin. Yes, you've come to the exciting part of the show, the bit where we find out where your votes have gone and who is the winner of this year's contest. At this point, I would like to introduce my other co-host. We had Gunnar earlier. This is Cloda, and she's the other half of Lamp, and she's going to help guide you through the voting sequence. So as you can see on the screen right now, there are all the songs. You can see the name of the song, and the name of the artist, and the country they represent, and that's in performance order. First jury we're going to call on is the public vote. So people were doing great PR on their songs, trying to get the public to vote. Uh, here are the first votes from the public. Um, now, what I need to warn you about is that there is actually an error in this vote. ScoreWiz has gremlins in it. Um, so, what happened here is Lobo did not score with the public. Those four points were actually due to go to Vulnerable from the UK. This will be rectified when we get to jury number 10. So, now let's reveal the top three from the public. Okay, we have third for Grow Old, second place for Body Rocks. And the 12 points go to the Angel Sing. Yes, so um, that's excellent. We have uh, one of our newcomers, Strings Live Band, is in the top three there. And uh, Roy Vorland is leading and he's back in the contest after 25 years. So moving on to jury number two. And so over to Martin Hamburg from Sweden too. It's my pal. Det var svårt att välja vilka låtar som skulle ha poäng, men jag har gjort ett försök i alla fall. Verkligen lite mer riva i Sweden där. Thanks very much for that, Martin. And some Welsh language in there as well. Martin is a man of many talents. So, here come the first points from Martin. As you can see, five songs are getting their first points from Martin's jury. Third place goes to San Finicus from Greece. Second place for Never Again. I've heard of that one. So have I, very familiar. And the 12 points go to Storm. So thanks very much to Martin for your votes. Now we shall move over to Lithuania and to Ignis. Uh, you can see here that these are the first points for Jason and Floriana. Um, good points here as well for London Vision and for two of the four Norwegian entries. Third for Replaying. Second place for The Angels Sing. And the 12 points go to... Never Again. That'll do. <laughs> okay. So, um, Never Again and The Angels Sing are now tied in first place. It's very exciting. And after three juries, it is nice to see that each of the 27 songs has now scored some points. Jury four is Andrew Mendelssohn from The Quirks. Hi, it's Andrew here, representing UK3. Uh, wishing everybody the best of luck and hope you're enjoying your evening. And here are the scores from our voting panel. Thanks for that, Andrew. So here are his lower points. And you can see from this that fifth place has gone to Vulnerable and fourth place for Rainbow Orbit here, bringing them both to the left-hand side of the scoreboard. Third for Why Do We Have To Pretend. Second place for Never Again. 
and the 12 points goes to watch out for the butterflies. They're beginning to make some noise. And next we'll go to jury number five. This is the jury of Mo Kaukabi from Norway 3. Okay, there's some more grounds that need to be rooted out here. Mo's 17th place was actually Rainbow Orbit, but those two points had to be given to Snow Clone to compensate for an error in a later jury. Uh, that will be rectified once we get to jury number 21. In the meantime, Snow Clone will have two points too many and Rainbow Orbit will have two points too few, but it's not really going to impinge too much on proceedings. Third is for Sparkling Eyes. Second place for Grow Old. And the 12 points goes to The Angels Sing. A clean sweep for Norway there on the podium from the Norway 3 jury, which is very Eurovision. Thank you for that. So here's what the top five looks like at the moment. In fifth place is UK4, London Vision. In fourth place is Germany4, for Janik Schmacke. In third place at the moment is Norway 2, Strings Live Band. In second place is Norway 2, Roy Forland. And in first place at the moment is Lamp. Never again. Yeah. 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 Like the order of these that, that, that's more or less random, I would say. Is it like out of a hat random? <laughs> <laughs> just, just don't doubt the system. It, it's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well, Let's just end it now. Let's just end it now. Okay, so back to the voting. We're going to jury number six. This is uh, Martin Faulkner from Vulnerable. Hello, Martin. Good evening, Europe. Good morning, Australia. Uh, you join me in Peterborough where it's just started to rain. Uh, my name is Martin Faulkner. I am a member of the band Vulnerable. We are thrilled to be taking part in Home Compose 2023 with our song Static on the Radio. Um, we've loved all of your songs. Whatever your result tonight, thank you for sharing your music with us. Uh, and here now are the results of the UK One jury. Thanks that, Martin. You truly are outstanding in your field. Good points here going to Snow Clone and Jason. Uh, you got fifth place to an Evidencia, and fourth for Love is What We Do. Third for Body Rocks. Second place for High. And the 12 points go to Keitava Pamato. Very nice. Um, you have Fly moving back up to second place now, and Vulnerable's top three songs all have moved into the top ten. Uh, next, we shall go to jury number seven. This is Serge Fourcade from France. Hello, Serge. Hello, everyone. I hope you all fine. Good luck for everyone, and let's have a look on the results of the French jury. Thanks for that. Fifth place has gone to Bis Anne's Ender der Zeit and fourth to Static on the radio. Third for High. Second place for Happy Ever After. And the 12 points go to Valkommen Duvar. So that's your first podium finishes for Sweden 2 and UK 3. Give both songs a nice little boost as they rise up the scoreboard. Now I reckon we'd better go over to jury number 8. Which is... Um, I've just remembered. I actually have to do something. Just, just really quick. Just give me a sec. Okay. It's jury number eight, which is Lanth. So, um, calling on Chloe from Lanth, please. Hi, I'm Chloe from Lanth. How are you doing? Um, we just want to say thank you for having us host the song contest this year. It has been a great pleasure and there's been some lovely songs. Now, it's time for the votes from the Irish jury. So, um, thanks to Chloe, um, thanks to you and me for those votes. Yeah, 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 excellent. So you might notice there, there were some uh, points went to Storm and to Mass of the Universe there, and fifth place to Body Rocks, and fourth to Broken Heart. Third for Sparkling Eyes. Second place for high, and the 12 points goes to replaying. 
Nice one. Um, so that's Ukraine's first ever home composed douze poire. Right, we better head over to jury number nine. This is Stefan Engel, who's representing Germany too. Hello, Stefan. Good evening, Europe. It's Hamburg calling. Yes, thank you very much for a great organization of this year's Home Composed Song Contest. And it was amazing how many good songs. So it was difficult for our team to choose the best songs. But anyhow, we made it, and now good luck to all participants. And, of course, best regards from Hamburg. Bye-bye. Thanks. That is an impressive collection of postcards in the background there. Um, I'm assuming he's been to all those places. Of course. Sure. Very lucky man. You can see from his lower points that there are some nice points for the quirks here. Fifth place goes to Strings Live Band, and fourth place is for Christina Pedersen. Third. For love is what we do. Second place for replaying. And the 12 points goes to the Angels Sing. Yeah, big changes at the top after the votes from Hamburg. Three of the four Norwegian entries are now in the top 10. Right, speaking of Norway, let's head over to Norway 1 and uh, Ole Morten from the Strings Live Band. This jury actually fixes the error in the public vote that we had earlier. The four points you see on screen for Vulnerable here are actually from the public vote. Oli's four points went to Lobo, but we saw those earlier in the public vote. We had to do a little switcheroo. Third for The Angels Sing. Second place for Replaying. And the 12 points go to Love Is What We Do. Go on Romania, go on Floriana, excellent. So at the moment, in fifth place is Replaying. Fourth place is Body Rock. At number three is Why Do We Have to Pretend. Number two is The Angel Sing. And number one right now is Hive. So that's excellent from newcomer Miles. Miles, it's his first year in the contest this year. So that's a very strong performance. The next jury to call up is our Spanish jury. So over to you, Lobo. Hello, good evening. This is Lobo calling from Spain. Uh, first, I want to wish all the musicians that are taking part in this year contest uh, good luck. Uh, as always, my votes are based more on the idea behind the song or what the song makes me feel, rather than quality of uh, production or vocal skills or stuff like this. So, um, here are my votes and maybe, who knows, see you next year. Bye! Thanks very much for that logo. I would actually agree wholeheartedly with your approach to writing the songs. It's good to try and look beyond the studio gloss where possible. There's a decent points boost for Rainbow Orbit and Snow Clone here from the lower points from Lobo. Third for Valcom and Duvar. Second place for Kai Tabe Pamato. And the 12 points go to Master of the Universe. There's a huge amount of diversity going on here with these 12 points. They're liable to go anywhere. It's very exciting. With that, Ignis moves into the top 10 for the first time. Now, let's go to juror number 12. This is Billy Fraser, originally from Scotland, but living in Norway and representing Norway 4. Hello, Billy. Hello, I'm Billy Fraser. I live in Norway, although I'm a Scotsman. I'd just like to wish everyone good luck in this 2023 song contest. And here are my voting results. Thanks, Billy. Though, I think having those bagpipes in shot without giving us a quick blast, that was just a tease. I think if you're in this next year, you're going to have to give us a blast of those bad mm -hmm. The lower points, you can see them on screen now, and they've given fifth place to Floriana and fourth place to Vulnerable. Third for Why Do We Have to Pretend? Second place for Replaying. And the 12 points go to Body Rocks. Lovely. So let's call up jury number 13, looking for some. This is the Greek jury and um, hello Konstantinos. Good evening my friends, I'm Konstantinos and I wish all participants good luck. Cheers for that. I couldn't quite make out the fruit that was in the background there, but they look right. Mmm, delicious. Fifth place for Vulnerable this time and fourth for Martin Kanberg. So in third place is Body Rocks. That's not right. Second place for Love is What We Do. And the 12 points go to Sialens Vingar. Well done, Eva Karen, on your first 12 of the evening. Excellent stuff. 
Yes, yeah, so we're now going to move over to Romania for jury number 14 and Floriana. Hello everyone, it's Floriana from Romania and I believe we've met before in the previous editions. I'm very happy to be taking part again and I want to congratulate the organizers for doing such an amazing job. 